Here's how I make this spinning melting text effect here in Photoshop. This is my artboard size. And for the font, I chose the Neue Has Grotesque Display Pro Medium. Now let's click on the text, press Ctrl T, and click on the Warp tool. And now we're going to go to the Warp Types, and I'm going to go with the Flag. You can modify the flag by dragging from this square up and down. I'm going to move this in this direction, press Enter. Now let's go to the Filter, Blur, and select Gaussian Blur. Click on Convert a Smart Object. I'm going to add a little bit of blur, and it's going to be on 4.6. Click OK. And I'm going to collapse the layer. Now let's go to the Adjustments, select the Gradient Map. Click on the gradient, and here I'm going to go with some colors, add a handle here, click on the color, and I'm going to go with the blue, click OK. So it's going to look something like this, and click OK, and I'm going to select the melting text, press Ctrl J to duplicate, select the bottom text, and let's go and select the smudge tool. And I also increase the strength to 65, and I'm going to click here, click OK. And I'm going to scale the brush down and I'm going to drag these areas a little bit more up just to make it more longer. And here I'm going to extend them at this point. And I'm going to go down, extend it. Now let's duplicate this layer. I'm going to press Ctrl J again and let's select the bottom layer again. And I'm going to repeat the same process and I'm going to drag it more, stretch it out. And I'm going to duplicate one more time, press Ctrl J and again select the bottom layer. And this one, I'm going to stretch it all the way out. And you can try to stretch every each color, for example, the blue or the yellow. It might be a little bit more difficult, but it is going to bring pretty nice results. Now take that in mind that this takes practice to get it right. And I'm also going to repeat the same process at the bottom at the right side. And after we manage to melt all the letters, we can go back to the text layer and I'm going to switch the text layer to this one, for example, and I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to start stretching these and check this out. It is going to create a really interesting effects. Now, in order to make this effective, all you have to do is just cross like this. And this way you can have some new effects going on. And I'm going to repeat the same process with this text layer. Click on it and do the same thing. Just drag it and check this out. All right, so after you are done, you also can do a couple of more things. I'm going to select the bottom layer, press Ctrl J again, and check this out. It is going to make the blue even more wilder. I'm going to select the bottom layer. I'm going to go to the filter, blur, and add some Gaussian blur. And check this out. If you increase the blur, it is going to smoothen out even more and get some new results. So this is the zero. Increase it. I'm going to go with 48. Click OK. And I'm going to select the top layer. I double click on it. And what I'm going to do is check the drop shadow. I'm going to go with the black color. And here you can set the opacity, but I'm going to decrease it quite a bit. You also can set up the distance however you like. And make sure to increase the size as well. Click OK. And pretty much this is it. This is how I make this spinning, melting, flaming text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.